Hi, I'm Mandy Ballinger. I'm a researcher at the Garvin Institute in Sydney and I'm involved in the Molecular Screening and Therapeutics Study, which we call the MOST study. So the MOST study is a research program with two phases. The first phase involves looking at the molecular profile of a patient's cancer, trying to identify molecular features that we may be able to use because that would make the cancer vulnerable for treatment. The second phase of the program is about um, looking at the patients that have been identified in the first phase and delivering uh, those treatments on studies that are part of the MOST program. The study is being conducted by the Australian Genomic Cancer Medicine Centre, which is a consortium of the major cancer centres uh, around Australia, and it's centred um, here in Sydney at the Garvin Institute. The aim of the study is to try and treat as many uh, patients as possible with personalised uh, therapies, um, so to try and get the best outcomes for patients possible. To be part of the MOST study, you must be, must be 18 years of age uh, or older. You must have been diagnosed with a metastatic or advanced cancer or with a cancer with a poor prognosis and you have to be reasonably well and active. No, this study isn't particularly for rare cancers but because patients with rare and less common cancers have less uh, treatment op options, we do have a large proportion of patients that have um, rare cancers on the program. This is the first study of its type uh, in Australia and it's especially relevant because it is making treatments available to patients with rare and less common cancers that they wouldn't be, be able to access otherwise. You don't need to be in Sydney to take part in this study. In fact, we have already participants all over, um, all over the country and we try and make the program as accessible as possible, not only in phase one of the program where we can do things uh, remotely, but we also have a number of centres uh, for treatments that are opening in the capital cities uh, all around the country to make things more accessible for patients and their families. To be involved uh, in the program, the first thing is that we would have a discussion uh, and answer any questions that you might have about the program. Um, we would ask you for um, consent to look at your medical records and any other information that might be pertinent um, to the program. We can either do this face to face or we can do it uh, over the telephone to make uh, things as available to as many uh, people as possible. We also ask uh, patients to fill out a questionnaire and to uh, give a blood sample. From the time that we have the first conversation, it'll take eight weeks until we have the results that tell us about the molecular uh, features of the tumour. The molecular makeup of a patient's tumour is interesting because it can inform um, treatments moving forward. So we may identify uh, a, a feature in the tumour that makes the tumour particularly vulnerable for a certain type of treatment. So having that information means that there may be new treatment options there for patients that weren't uh, recognised previously. Molecular profiling isn't something that is done in a routine fashion, so uh, it's definitely new information that can be available for patients that can inform treatments moving forward. Hi, I'm Richard Vines. I'm the Chief Executive of Rare Cancers Australia. We think it's, it's breakthrough in the sense that what we're doing, instead of treating a cancer based on its location or what it looks like is we're saying, okay, give us a piece of your tumour, your cancer, let's analyse it, see what the cause is, and then based on that cause, let's pick a treatment option. If a molecular feature is identified in phase one of, of the MOST study, uh, then a treatment might be available 
as part of the most study itself. There may be treatments available as part of other clinical trials or even in fact as standard uh, therapies for other cancers. So there are, there are many avenues um, by which patients may be able to access further treatments. Unfortunately, there isn't a result for every patient. Up to around 40% of patients will receive some information that will be able um, to inform uh, future treatment options, but unfortunately for uh, you know, more than half of patients, that information um, will, is not there. We've had a number of sub-studies already running as part of the MOST program and in some of those uh, sub-studies we've had some very uh, promising results for patients with, with good outcomes so far. So we're looking to get 5,000 patients involved in phase one of the MOST study over the next few years. Taking part in the program doesn't cost um, the patient anything in terms of um, treatments and the molecular profiling itself. There may be some costs uh, in terms of travelling and accommodation, but there are patient support services uh, available that can, that can help patients with, with such things. Rare Cancers Australia is working closely with, with the Australian Genomic Cancer Medicine Centre, David Thomas and, and Dr Ballinger, um, to provide support services to patients. We, we specifically uh, set up to help people with things like travel, things like accommodation, um, all of the um, logistics around participating and being part of the trial. We're also there for, um, for people who come onto the trial and they maybe get a, a result, um, but it's not, it doesn't mean that they can go on with the trial, but it, but it may create other treatment options. We're there to support. We, we exist solely to support patients and we will support them right through the process. At Rare Cancers we sometimes find patients who want to talk to other patients uh, and understand what it's like to be on the trial and we're very happy to, to facilitate that and try and connect people um, because it's, it's so much better if you can just talk to someone who's lived it and walked it and, and we understand that. If a patient would like to take part in the, in the MOST study, they should have a chat with their oncologist and the oncologist then makes a referral uh, to the program and the program then gets in touch with the patient to take things further. This study is, is very exciting because we're making uh, a difference in, in patients' lives and having an impact on not only the patients themselves uh, but, their, but their families. We're trying to decrease some of the um, desperation uh, that patients feel that have a rare cancer when, they're very, when there really are very uh, limited options. So we feel like we're making a difference in those people's lives. <laughs>